Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. Freaking awesome. I can't wait to show My name is Burke and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, yo. What's up? It's your boy, Burf. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's the Burfy boy. It's the Burfy boy. Hey, I'm at Thrift Giant. Old Thrifty Pants. About to head in and see what kind of goodies they got. Gonna keep my fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. After this, we'll be hitting up the goodie wheel. And then the ladies of 80s Toys Rock will be joining me later for a little trip to Craptastic Sam's as we head to our chiropractic appointment today. So let's start in here, see what they got. Maybe we can score some vintage goodies. All right, what are we doing here? Dr. Alan Grant, we got some Jurassic World Funko Pops. Got quite a few of them. What are they asking for these? 10 bucks each, holy cow. That's like almost retail. With this guy right here. Oh, look at this brontosaurus. Check him out. He's actually made of like a soft rubber. All right, well, we still have all of these 12 inch action figures down here that nobody wants apparently. <laughs> Cause they've been here for days. We got this dude. What's this thing right here? Hot Wheels Racer. Oh, Hot Wheels Races. Hey, it's a Yuletide Freddy Funko. And then we've got Princess Minnie. And we got Sam. All right, what do we got here? Adventure Force Dino Robot. Oh, yeah, I saw him in Walmart before. Oh, we got one of those light year night light thingies yeah we got this unicorn squish mallow it looks like somebody bought that uh hello kitty one oh yeah look at this guy there's a couple of these dudes actually whoa one's bigger than the other holy cow look at that <laughs> There, just for size comparison, that dude is huge. All right, guys, we just got busted. But we got Goodwill and we got old craptastic Sam's on the menu today. We might even stop at the Goodwill in McKinney if I can talk Nicole and Caroline into it, which I probably can because they're usually cool about it. But uh, anyway, off to the Goodie Wheel to see what kind of goodies they got. Oh, all right, my friends, we are here. Goody Will, Frisco, Texas. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hey, by the way, do you remember the other day when my car wasn't locking? Well, I got it now. <laughs> I got it. So it turns out I had to take this fob apart. I had changed the battery on it because I, was, I had low battery, but apparently when I put everything back together, <laughs> Things kind of slid around a little bit and the buttons weren't matching up. But your boy got it fixed because I'm handy like that. I'm a technician. Nah, actually I'm not. I'm terrible at that stuff. I'm surprised I didn't break it. All right, let's see what we got in here. All right, let's see. What do we got? We got a Batmobile. Let's see if there's a Batman in there. No, oh, but there is a pair of sunglasses. seeing nothing now what do we got here next models and what's this oh it's just a remote control car hmm. yeah guys I think we're gonna get busted how about over here in plushville any plushy action hmm there's a Bugs Bunny Santa Claus. Oh, he looks old. Oh, he's made by the National Entertainment Network. But I did not see a date on him anywhere. I like him though. He's cool. Alright guys, we just got...
Dallas City Goodwill. You know what? I'm gonna pop in over here at Grease Bridge across the street, see if they got some goodies on the shelves for us. And then afterwards we'll head home. I'll pick up the girls. We'll head to our chiropractor and we'll check out Craptastic Sam's. I feel like these same games have been in here for a while. I like these binoculars though. All right, well, what do we got here? Some Dollar Tree stuff. Dark Tower, Mini Mates. And there's really not a whole lot going on. Just some of these plushies, really. But I'm thinking about maybe getting these. I've pulled them out of the case. I'm carrying them around with me. They're kind of neat. I like them. I actually don't own any binoculars. But uh, everything's 50% off today, so I can get it for like $7.50. All right, guys. Well, I got me a pair of vintage binoculars. And they work really, really well. <laughs> oh, man. I'm really digging it. I like how the uh, they're small, but like kind of long. You know, they got that, have like that military feel to them. So, all right, guys. Well, let's... Uh, here they are, show and tell. <laughs> so let's, uh, I'm gonna go pick up the girls and then we're gonna head, to, head on over to Crappy. So it'll be like, you know, about an hour for us and lickety split for you. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey, what's up? I got the ladies of 80s Toys Rock with me today. People love it when you guys are- Happy International Women's Day. Yeah, today's Happy International <laughs> Women's Day. So, strong women. I got strong women in my family. I bred strong women. Well, a strong woman. She, like, yeah, she, her mom or something did something wrong. I her. bred myself. Yeah, she bred herself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. She bred herself. She did. She was like, like, no joke. She was like four years old, staying at home by herself. Yeah, you told me, like, four years old, you're by yourself. Her mom had to work. Her single mom had to work, and Nicole would be at home by she, herself. She had to work. Four years old. Isn't that crazy? So, but anyway, uh, people were telling me how much they enjoy seeing you guys in the video and they wish you would be in the videos more. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice. Yeah, so maybe we'll be able to get you guys in here a little more. So, I'm about to head into Craptastic Sam's main location, see what kind of goodies they got in here. Then we're going to go off to our chiropractor appointment. And uh, I was going to see if maybe, just maybe, we could stop at that Goodwill by Dr. Bo's house on the way out. Maybe, just maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> if I'm a good boy. Yeah, I'm a good boy. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, well, it's our day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, go get your crap. All right, I'm going to go get my crap on. All right, I'll see you inside. All right, well, what do we got in the glass case? Looks like some of the same stuff we saw here just a few days ago. Hey, it's our boy Buzz. But uh, not seeing a whole lot, so let's go check the shelves. Oh, uh, we've got Zerg. What's this over here? Maybe some sort of Hot Wheels? Play on a hex bug. It's a hex bug playset. Oh, we got all kinds of Easter bags over here with Easter coming up. Got some Easter Snoopy plushes. Easter Snoopy. There's some Christmas stuff. Check out these old cars. That's just like some home decor. These aren't really toys. All right, well, let's see what we can find in Bagville. Hmm. Seeing lots of junk at the moment. got here oh, we got some like Disney action figures in this bag some like a Shopkins grocery cart what's this is this a transformer I see in here maybe yeah some sort of transformer And what do we got here? Got a bag full of trucks. Uh, looks like it's 
some sort of model kit. Anything on the shelfy shelves? What's this? It's a uh, pop up. Oh, it's a pop up game. Man, we are getting skunked hard today, guys. There's a lightsaber. Well, it's actually a decent one. But uh, nothing I'm interested in. Hey, hey, hey. It's our boy Buzz. The third one today. Oh, she just got a cart full of stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, we got ourselves a colossal, like a battle damage one to boot. I think these ones were, are worth a little bit more, I think. Oh, damn. They want $20 for that guy. Holy cow. That's a lot of money. But uh, I'm going to see how much he's worth. Well, guys, it turns out this one isn't worth that much. Uh, he's selling for between $20 and $30 on ebay so he's not going to be worth it at 20 bucks that's a ridiculous price Blech. sucks all right well back on the shelf he goes for somebody who just wants them in their collection i've got a colossal already so i was going to get them just to try and resell them but not for you know a few dollars profit i thought he was going to be worth like something like 70 70 to 100 bucks, but I was wrong. Man, guys, busted again. But it didn't have to be that way. It didn't have to be a bust. We could have scored a colossal T-Rex. If that thing had been like 6.99, I would have grabbed it 7.99, which is what it should have been priced at. But $20, come on, crappy. I'll tell the girls about this. Get what they see what they think. Hey. You know what Thrift Giant or Plaza yeah. Thrift Crappies? You know what they did? So they had this big colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex. The real big one. You know what I'm talking about? This one had battle damage though. And uh, I looked him up. I was going to get on the movie try and resell him. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't work out. Continue with your story. <laughs> Take a guess at what they were. Thank you, Craptastic Sam. <laughs> Thank you. Take a guess at how much they were trying to sell it for. Sixty bucks. No, not that much. Forty bucks. No, not that much. Oh, twenty bucks. Yeah, twenty bucks. <laughs> twenty dollars. Let's yeah. get the hell out of here then. Yeah. Well, it's like you know. I mean, he only resells for like 30 bucks, so I was left them on the shelf. But anyway, we're gonna head to. Craptastic, give me a high five! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna head to our Cairo appointment and then we'll hit up the Goody Wheel on the way home. Maybe, just maybe. All right, I'll check back we'll in. See. I'll check back we'll in. See. <laughs> So we were just talking and I was like, hey, I said, I'm going to pull out the camera here and film and let people know I got permission to go to Goodwill. And what did you say, Caroline? <laughs> said, did you get permission? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. She said, I didn't hear anybody give you permission. I think it's like, and uh, she's Goodwill right. Goodwill car just like. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's my, it's my muscle memory, you know, <laughs> just like my habit it just drove Matter of fact, it's kind of funny. Uh, I go to these places so often that when we get in the car, the navigation yeah, says Goodwill's twenty miles. Away, yeah, automatically miles goes to the thrift store. Like it's funny. So anyway, all right, guys. Well, I'm gonna head in here. <laughs> keep my fingers crossed, and uh, maybe I'll get lucky. I haven't been, I haven't scored anything yet today. So, all right. <laughs> well, actually, I did score some binoculars. So, but no toys, no toys. Let's see what they got in here. All right, well, what is that thing? 
thought it was like a gaming system at first. I think it's like some sort of fan. We got some games and some Blu-ray, but uh, nothing. There's a game controller. Let's go check the shelves. I don't know what that is. It says Wings of Texaco. I don't know if that's like a model. All right, well, let's open this up and see. Here's to be missing the canopy. All right, well, let's see. Let's see if we can find, oh, look at this. Oh, that is a super score. Mighty Max. Oh my God, guys, that's a Mighty Max playset. Holy crap. Oh, we gotta open it up and see what's inside. Oh, check how cool that is. I was looking to see maybe if it had a little Max. I've got a Max at the house. Oh yeah, we're totally getting this. I wonder if there's anything else on the shelves. Oh, there's a bag of... Are these Mighty Max figures, I think? All right, yeah, we gotta get this bag too. Oh, look at all that. Oh yeah. Jackpot! We got a jackpot. He's on that jazz, man, he's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. Oh, this is awesome. It's awesome. Oh my God, I'm just so excited right now. So freaking awesome. Let's see, is there anything else? Anything over here? Oh, that's kind of cool. I got that Zord in there. I'm not too particularly interested in that, but that is cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah, buddy. Oh man, freaking awesome. I can't wait to show the girls. <laughs> Hello. I scored vintage toys. Nice. I gotta show them to you. Okay, so this is the 1994 Mighty Max Trapped in Skull Island playset. So open it up. So it's got um, it's got a little thing here. You gotta spin this to open it, and then you can open it. Oops. Can you spin it? See how? There you go. Check that out. <laughs> okay, so that's the play set. Okay, look at this. It even has like this little I see bones. Turn it towards the camera. Yeah, see that right there? It has like this little cage elevator thingy, whatever. So you can I guess you can crank this. Oh yeah, it comes up. There it goes. Mm, it's like a see? little elevator. Yeah. See, this really makes me miss that Scooby Doo house we had. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was Scooby cool. House, yeah. So we got um that but check this out so this right here so this is mighty max right so the figures for mighty max are these little tiny guys right yeah so he's from the 90s that's why we didn't hear from but he's like a very popular toy line a lot of people like mighty max but check this out i got this bag right here but it's got all these little mighty max figures See the, the, yeah, this little yeah thing that's here. little Mighty Max right there. Yeah, there's a few of them actually. So there's a mixture of like, you know, junk and oh, see right there. That there's like another Mighty Max little playset thingy. Oh, here's a, here's one right here. There was a guy at the toy show this weekend selling these things for like 40 bucks a pop. So, but uh, of course I'm gonna keep it because it's vintage. But I. <laughs> I got, I can't wait to get home and open this bag up. There's all kinds of stuff in here, but I got it for the Mighty Max figures. But uh, we're gonna head home and we're go gonna- Go upstairs. Yeah, go upstairs and do some <laughs> show and tell in the bunker. How's that sound? Yeah, in the bunker. Yeah, in the bunker. Yeah, in the bunker. <laughs> all right, we'll see you back at the bunker. <laughs> all right, gang, we're back at the bunker. Now let's check out this Mighty Max playset. This thing is super cool. Oh my God, like look how 
freaking awesome this playset looks. It looks so much fun. This is the Mighty Max Trapped in Skull Mountain playset. And it came with a ton of figures, guys. Like I have a few of them on display here. When we flip it around and look at the inside of it, I'll put the rest of the figures on display. But wow, I am so thrilled to have this. So let's just take a quick look at some of the things that were in the bag. Um, here is a hammerhead shark that uh, was really nice to have. I didn't, uh, at first I wasn't sure if this was actually a Mighty Max figure or not, but when I looked it up, did a little research, I was like, holy crap, that actually goes with the playset. So it was nice to have some of these additional figures or accessories in the bag that I picked up along with the Skull Mountain. But uh, here we have Mighty Max and we have Norman and they're coming in hot on their raft and uh, about to approach Skull Mountain. Hopefully they don't get trapped inside. But uh, over here, we've got some more figures. Now I'm not overly familiar with all of the Mighty Max figures. So I'm gonna have to, you know, do my research, do my homework on these things, but check these guys out. Holy cow, those things are awesome. And then uh, we've got this little figure dude up here. He looks absolutely fantastic. And then over here we have the uh, the Nuke Ranger playset and the Robot Invader playset as well. And the Nuke Ranger actually came with the Nuke Ranger guys. So I thought that was pretty fantastic as well. Uh, overall, like I think with all the figures in the playset. We got over $100 worth of value with all of this for like five bucks. So I'm absolutely thrilled and ecstatic about it. And this thing is just going to look so awesome on display here in the bunker. But let's flip it around and uh, take a look at the inside. Here we go. So this is the inside of Skull Mountain. And this thing is so freaking awesome. There's so many like little components to it. It's really cool and I'm excited to just start playing with everything and kind of figure out what's what. I'll probably even have to watch a YouTube video to kind of see like how this mountain, how this playset actually functions overall because there's so many little things that, uh, so many like, you know, little functionalities that I don't know what's supposed to do what. <laughs> so I'm going to have some fun doing that. But here we've got Max and Norman fresh off the boat, already encountering some trouble. And uh, check that out. That is so awesome. This turtle right here, I think, somehow attaches to this thing and maybe creates like some sort of cage is what I'm thinking. Uh, but yeah, how cool is that? That thing actually goes up and down as well. I don't want to mess with it because like I'll knock everything over at the moment. But over here we've got Skullmaster and uh, we have this guy. We saw him earlier and I've got a couple of Skullmasters actually. One with the purple cape. So this guy has a purple cape and then one with a blue cape. And I think he actually goes to like a Dragon Mountain playset or something like that. Uh, but we've got Max encountering the Skullmaster and we've got this dude again. And this little green guy, he's actually made out of rubber. Most of these things are made out of plastic, but he's actually made out of rubber. And then we have this little dude over here, which kind of reminds me of Snarf from Thundercats. <laughs> just, I don't know if it's just the coloration of him, but he kind of reminds me of Snarf. And then down here, we've got the mummy. We've got some of these bad looking dudes and uh, Max and Norman again. And then we've got this big old crab and he actually kind of shoots from out of that little cave back in there. We've got this grimly looking dude. And then uh, this up here, um, this ax actually, it does move. Um, and there's a piece in the back that goes up and down. So you can drop the hammer, I guess, and chop somebody's head off if you want. And then we even have like this little catapult right here. Whoops, see, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> so, and then uh, of course we got this little guy again with the one eye, the Illuminati looking dude. But wow, guys, I am so excited for this play set. It just looks so cool. And to uh, just take a look at the inside of these play sets over here. Um, this little, this alien figure, I don't know if he actually was supposed to come with, uh, he was inside 
this little playset. So I don't know if like he was supposed to, if he actually goes to it or not. Again, I'll have to research it. But here we've got the uh, the Nuke playset. But wow, how cool is that, man? For five bucks, I can't believe it. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. Yeah, I just, I love finding vintage toys like that in thrift stores. There's nothing like it. It's such a great feeling. And I don't know a whole lot about the whole Mighty Max line, but uh, I am falling in love with this playset, and I can totally see myself buying more of it and really kind of diving into it and learning more about all the different characters and stuff that are involved in the Mighty Max world. But hey, if you've enjoyed watching this content as much as I've enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.